Alright, the lab is cleaned up. Let's uh, take care of these casings. Throw those in the general pile. Um, yeah. Well, uh, toss the mop down over here so we can find it later. Alright, nothing outside. I got what I needed out of the tank. It's uh, noon. Um, we didn't solve our food problem. Did they break the zones in vehicles? I, I've had some people mention something about it, but I wasn't aware they ever broke the uh, the vehicles. Shortly after they made zones, they had the vehicles uh, set up. I made a addendum to my zone manager video. Four vehicles. If they broke it afterwards, I'm not sure. All right, no more messages about the vehicle being there. So, I would like to get to Scrambler Grenades. Electronics 8 Computers 4 is a ways off, though. That's a long time. Four levels of electronics and four levels of computers. I've got the books to do it. Electronics to 5, electronics to 6. Actually, do I have the books to do it? I'm not sure I have the um, the books to do it. I don't have the 6 to 8 electronics book. Damn it. <laughs> oh, man. That is the big disappoint. I knew it was super high, and there's only, I think, one book. And it's probably, I'm going to have to get into a lab in order to uh, get into it. I forget the um I forget which book specifically gets you to eight electronics. Is it robots? I think it's robots. Hmm. What are the chances I'm gonna pull robots out of like a school? We take a long bike ride over to a school. Four schools, five schools in that area, six schools. <laughs> That's uh, all the schools in the entire massive city are in that one spot. Hmm. We've still got this really dense book region over here with like six bookstores in a small area. Maybe that'll be my target. That's pretty close. We can get down to this area. One, two, three, four, five, six, right here. I'm just having pretty bad luck with libraries and bookstores. And I, I'm, I'm not sure I've ever found robots for fun and profit in a bookstore library. I don't know. Robots is... I mostly find robots in labs. I, I'm sure I've found them elsewhere. I, I mean... <laughs> Uh, I, I had to have, but um, I don't know. What we should probably do, though, is uh, at least advance the skills we have to get close, because I need to heal up anyway. I still got the food problem. I got I got to solve the food thing. Or anywhere close, I can do that. Um, I wouldn't be adverse to going underground now, too. All right, let's let's do some reading. If we don't get too tired before the sun goes down, I'll, I'll make a night run down to that uh, herd of libraries and bookstores. And we'll pick up food on our way back out. I still gotta get that solved, so. Um, have something to drink. And I need to do one more water run also. Since I used up all that silly water and we only had a partial resupply. Get that done now. Oh. 
I want to get it off my list of to-dos. Kind of dangerous to drive right along the side of buildings like that. All right, we'll just pull up right next to this. Do it the easy way. Let go of the controls. But let me... I don't know if it'll let me fill that. Nope. All right, gotta pull it out of there. One eighteen. It's not full yet, damn it. You're gonna keep just streaming towards me. <laughs> That's the gotta hit in. Nah, it's likely the last time I'm going to have to deal with water this entire run, so it's just too easy to go grab water. I don't really care about the other method. Same thing with why don't I set up funnels and all that kind of stuff. It's just not necessary. Um, Alright, so that's done. Let's get our... Actually, I need to make, I, if we're going to do the night run thing, I want my rollerblades, so I want, uh, I need to go get some soap real quick. Come here, you foos. Oops. Alright, let's go hit a house or two. I need to find some soap. nearby no let's go back up this way actually what basement was that flashlight active <laughs> I don't know when I turn the flashlight on Detergents not typically on their drop. Stuff. More 
Pesto. Mm, no thanks. Sitting on the bed? <laughs> That's kind of different. I guess you're the culprit, Mr. Crow? <laughs> oh. oh, hey, it's the basement with the wrench I've been looking for. <laughs> I've mentioned this one a few times recently. This, finally, we found one. So, when you get this basement where you come down the stairs and you get this little hallway, I've mentioned there's sometimes a, an opening here instead of bookcases, and there's a room back here. There should be a wrench sitting right here. Every time I've tested it, there's been a wrench there. Let's go check. Hey, look, Mr. Wrench. <laughs> so, if you're looking for wrenches and you're desperate for your wrench, wrench and hacksaw being the problem ones, then... Uh, Make sure, if you're checking basements and you happen to notice that you get this basement, go get your wrench. Well, the only guaranteed sources of wrenches that I'm aware of. Come on, game. Um, a little short on leather after repairing. Let's grab some of that. Alright, nothing else, unfortunately. Yeah, but there's like, I don't know, three variations of that basement. So it's a little tough to come across, but uh, take advantage of it if you get the opportunity. Alright, where are we? These three are done. Let's go north. Love how the stadium is literally right up against this house. <laughs> It's my backpack again, you little punk. Gunsmith basement with survivors. Ah, miscellaneous repair kit. Um. No duct tape in it. Can't think of a reason why I would need it. Go ahead and get the uh, M4 out. That's a, that's a bit of a pile. What do we got? An <laughs> RM360 rotary carbine? What the hell is that? That's a new one. A new RivTech. Submachine. What? <laughs> what the hell? RMRB 200, 22 magazine, 200 rounds of 22. Oh, uh, all right. That's 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 a lot of weirdness. Finding a RivTech anything. Is that a RivTech? Maybe it's not a RivTech. Does it say RivTech? Yeah, it's a RivTech. Five rotating barrels and a large capacity helical magazine, durable easel handle designed to overcome the deficiency of its low power 22LR cartridge by rapidly delivering a large number of projectiles. Huh. High point model JCP. More guns! That's what we needed, right? More guns! <laughs> Hopefully it fills in some gaps. Oh, good old fouling indications. Alright, I hadn't read all the way down on one of the guns to see the fouling info. Wonder how fast something like that fouls when you're firing a high high rate of fire. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Eighty rounds of twenty-two FMJ. I could test it with. <laughs> I don't remember seeing this high point 
model JCP either. 40 caliber Smith & Wesson JHP. Hmm. So, do I waste a bunch of ammo killing all these stupid survivor zombies? Or do I just roll on out of here? I do want to know if that thing... Well, I, if, if it had 8x40 ammo, I'd be a lot more excited. I'm kind of curious, but the rest of this, I don't need an AR, I don't need that pistol, I don't care. Um, I don't care much about most of this ammo. Suppressor would be nice for the M4, beyond that. So let's, um, let's grab the suppressor. Whoops. Let's grab it again. <laughs> um, we'll try to come down and check this out. One bullet. <laughs> One round. <laughs> 200 capacity. So we saw a RivTech heavy machine gun that had zero out of 500. Now we've got a new RivTech with one out of 200. <laughs> huh. Well, <laughs> I am not that excited. 15 damage, no armor piercing. Fire mode auto is 20. Yeah, but um, burst fire is notoriously unreliable and inaccurate. Yeah, alright. Well, it's interesting to find anything RivTech in a basement like this. Don't generally find the high-tech weaponry down here. Probably didn't. Uh, it's coded weird because of the... Uh, it's a new item. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I care about the rest of this. I'm not going to waste ammo killing all these guys. They're not likely to drop anything I care about. Um, yeah, I don't really need any of this stuff, so let's just bail. They are denying me my soap. Dirty rotten soap deniers. Hey, do we have a garden here? Are there a lot of a lot of seeds? Oh, there's the hoe I need for starting our uh, our field. <laughs> Oops, wrong weapon. Suicide bathroom. Razor blade. Went out with a razor blade. Oh, monocle. Basement. We're actually capable of taking out the spider basements now, and this would be a good meat source. And uh, it's real close. Uh, let's find out which kind first. No, oh, my favorite. Good old giant cellar spiders. Um, I think I have enough protection that he wouldn't be able to touch me. Let's test it. Let's see if this guy can do any damage to me. I don't think he'll be able to with my protection level. Come on in here. Me and you, spider. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right. Although that wasn't really a good test for whether he can damage me. I'm just going to let him try for a bit. All right, yeah, we're, we're immune to the giant cellar spiders. Um, I don't want to kill them all. If I... Let's see. 
Um, when we're going to go down there, there are butcher shops in the area. So I can pull the uh, metal butchering rack out of a butchering shop, and then we'll just make the uh, leather tarp, and we'll be able to full butcher these things for the best meat supply. I'll try to keep an eye out for a mini freezer or two while we're looking. <laughs> no, nah, it's not hard. But here's the thing. I, I wouldn't mind farming if it had some kind of a point. Um, my issue is that, for me, I know the game too well, and my challenges end long before any crops I plant would ever come close to being available. So, me planting things is totally useless. I don't play multi-season, long-term, try-to-stay-alive-for-a-year type of gameplay, because... I'm 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 rolling around in end game gear inside the first couple of weeks. So all my challenges are kind of designed for very short to medium term lengths and farming for me is has no function. I mean I, it just doesn't do anything. So I mean I, I have no reason to farm because I'm not going to get the output. Um so I mean I don't find it offensive in any way or anything like that. It's just totally irrelevant for for me and my gameplay. <clears throat> but you guys like to farm? Go for it. To each their own. I'm glad it's in-game. Maybe at some point, when the balances hit certain levels or game changes enough, there will be a reason to farm. Um, but food is so plentiful in the game, and if you have any kind of ability to move around, you, you're never going to be hungry, really. So... <clears throat> You will eventually, after you play the game enough, get to a point where you can survive reliably pretty much in any start. And like I do, you have to artificially start stacking on various levels of difficulty by more zombies, faster evolution, less items, take all the bad traits. I mean, you find various ways of increasing the difficulty factor, and everybody has their preferences for that. I'm not the only way to do it in any way, shape, or form. Um, so make your own decisions and have your own fun. Don't take what I like or don't like as the gospel. But I'm just trying to decide, do I quick butcher? Do I, I think I'll quick butcher these two. Oh crap, I forgot. Wrong option. Well, I'll quick butcher this one. <laughs> um, oh crap. Stuff's gone missing again. I'm I'm getting really annoyed because I know I did not drop this stuff. Oh, I did drop it. My my bad. Never mind. It's right here. <laughs> my bad. All right, now we have what I was looking for. <laughs> Alright, just quick butcher it. What am I getting out of a quick butcher? Seven and two. Um, yeah, it's not bad. There's going to be probably 15. 15 or so spiders, 12 to 15. So maybe, what is that? Maybe 100 chunks of meat if I quick butcher them all. And then I can also get the spiderlings out of the egg sacks and uh, get the eggs. I can powder the eggs and then do scrambled eggs. I don't have magicalism on, so I'm not gonna run across any trolls or uh, owl bears for easy meat. We don't really have access to large enough open areas in the forest areas to try to go get uh, moose or bear or anything like that. So I think we'll do this. I'll, I'll just take the meat here. I, I don't even think I need the chitin. We'll just leave the chitin. Not critical yet. Uh, we'll uh, when we do our book run, we'll uh, we'll grab our metal butchering rack if we have the weight and space on our way out. And uh, if I drive down, we'll easily have enough, which I might as well do. I can't think of a reason not to drive down. Um, so yeah, we'll bring back a butchering rack, and then I'll come over here and we'll kill the uh, spiders. They'll provide all the meat I need. As soon as I can full butcher them, I, I'll just kill two or three at a time and butcher them up. And uh, that'll give me all the meat that I need. Alright, so we know where it's at. I've got it noted. 
Uh, let's go uh, find me some soap. <laughs> I can't believe I'm, I'm having this stupid problem finding some soap or detergent. Salad. Uh, here. And the utility basement. Nope. All right, nothing interesting. Come on, game. Don't make me make my own soap. <laughs> Ugh. I know certain places and basements and buildings that have it. Soap! Alright, that'll at least get my roller blades fixed up. That sounded like an electric blast from a shock zombie. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I got warned. Um, hmm. uh, I got no way out this direction. No way out of the bathroom. So it's either risk getting spotted and shocked here while I go out that way. He just cast his blast. I should be able to run. Ooh, is that just the only zombie, the shock zombie? Or is there another one? It might be the only one. Hmm. I'd rather not fire the gun if I don't have to. We've now pretty much cleared this whole block. Um... Nah, we're going to leave him alone. Just skedaddle our... Oops, is that a... That's the same shocker zombie? Or is that a different one? Man, is he moving? Now I'm moving right into zombies. Alright, let's go this way. Trigger pork and beans. Hey, there's that charcoal I needed earlier. And another shock zombie. <laughs> huh. They seem to be closing in on me. Um... Man, I, I don't want to fire guns near anywhere near the stadium. It uh, stirs up the wander spawn counters and uh, stuff. But I also don't want shock zombies nearby. And a rifle. Actually, I could. Uh, let's do this. Put the suppressor on the rifle. To do that, I need to unload it. Then activate the suppressor. And then reload it. Oh, I damaged my kukri. Only the second time, so that's not too bad. Alright, let's get the uh, rifle back out. Uh, <laughs> don't be dead already, zombie. A little more distance. That was way too many shots. 
All right, M4A1, I'm less happy with you. I <laughs> guess somebody knows I'm here. Alright, let's uh let's head home. <laughs> I'm I'm chasing animals down the sidewalk here. Mr. Crow and Mr. Squirrel. Crow, rabbit, and squirrel. Okay, yay! Give me washing kit, give me roller blades. Thirty just for the roller blades. Now I'm starting to think I might need to get that washing kit set up. Did they change the amount of water, or has it always been that much? That seems like an awful lot for uh, a pair of roller blades. Uh, washing machine will improve a few things. Let's do, um, let's drop some stuff off. Drop off that and that. Keeping all this. Alright, so I gotta fix the roller blades and get them fitted. Keeping everything else. Oh yeah, I gotta repair the uh, welding rig too. Out of charges, of course. <laughs> That's fine. Use these up. All right, roller blades are fitted and reinforced. Uh, let's get the backpack fitted or reinforced again. That's where all my leather's going. Oh, I ran out. <laughs> I'm out of leather again. Uh, can't reinforce those, so we're fine. The rest of that. Kukri's fixed. That's all I care about there. Alright, so gear's good to go. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Get rid of that again. What are our melee skills up to now? All the fighting we're doing, we've managed to almost get to level 5 cutting weapons. <laughs> Whoa, that's different looking. Hmm. We're up to 821 kill count so far. Alright. Uh, so we're going to wait for dark. We're going to take... Well, yeah, we're, we're going to take a dark drive. We'll, we'll drive down in the dark. Park our bike somewhere convenient near this area, and then I'll, I'll raid all of these uh, local establishments, fill up the cargo space, and then uh, drive back out again. That's the plan, anyway. No, that bike's not generated. I built that from scratch. <laughs> That's my Mega City motorcycle. <clears throat> it is the awesome... 
you'll get to see it in use here pretty quick. It's ridiculously helpful for when you're playing on maps like this and uh, you need to travel around a big city. I don't recommend trying it in a standard size vehicle. <laughs> Um, we got a little bit of food, but we're gonna fix that problem. That will, yeah. Let's let's just read until dark. Uh, our focus we tanked again. Let's do the whole. Nah, I'm not gonna do all that stuff. Let's just do a samurai novel. Make me happy, samurai novel. Make me more happy. That is not happy enough. Some old pesto and toast bins, chocolate bar. One more. All right, let's start working on electronics. So, plus one. Ah. Nine minute difference. Roll from a plus one to a minus one. Maybe I'll do computers instead. We need computers for anyway. And this way, I might be able to hit the doctor's office locks rooms. Hey there, Bubble Quinn. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. No, I haven't recruited anybody. We got a problem in that um, <laughs> I, I I can't recruit anybody. We're not going to find anybody. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it'll be a lonely stadium that we're going to set up. Uh, when I set the world up, apparently, I, uh, I thought I'd set it up correctly, but it defaulted back to my original settings, apparently, and, uh, we don't have random NPCs turned on, so we're not going to be finding anybody. I could turn them on, but, uh, chances will still be low. Random NPCs, here, we'll turn them on, and we'll set, um, we'll set the scaling factor to, oh, let's do 2.0. Whether we actually see anybody show up, I I don't know. I'll even quit out just to make sure it takes the changes. One second while I get back in here. Nah, getting to the stadium by itself was... That's way too simple. Way too easy. Uh, load. So... My my idea for the endpoint, or close to an endpoint, is uh, get finish getting the base room set up. We got the workshop area here to finish setting up. Um, I want to set up a power grid with some solar panels. That's proving a little harder. Um, we can do it. We just got to source some better solar panels, and then uh, do a little bit of planting in the field. So I want to be able to point to this for later people, the newer players that want to see an example of a base and how it works and how to set it up and that kind of stuff. <clears throat> all right so we're in we've we've turned them on whether we actually see anybody spawn because i've already my reality bubble has been over a lot of this area already i don't know what's going to happen but um currently my main thing i'm working towards i've already got everything i need really to get this workshop set up we just got to finish building out the workshop up here I need to find one more heavy-duty power cable, and then uh, we're going to set up solar panels, run a power cable to connect into this workshop, and then connect this one to that one. I could just run the frames all the way around, I guess. There's nothing really preventing me. Then I would only need the one cable. I'll probably do that instead. It's okay if I have to step over a frame right here to get into the bedroom. So, that'll actually be easier. If we happen across another cable in our travels, that'll simplify things, but otherwise... I'll just run uh, I'll just run frame all the way around this wall and uh, that way we have one network set up here one heavy duty cable connecting to our power generation and the solar panels and um, if we can find a decent amount of seeds we'll uh, we'll set up a little farming plot area out here in the middle of the field and um, beyond that the main idea is to set up a turret a turret a turret a turret. Basically, I'm going to surround the stadium with turrets with high capacity uh, ammo. So, two turrets up here, one turret on this road, and um, if I get all that set up, we'll consider that well protected enough, and that might be where we end things. It kind of depends. We'll, we'll see. 
we got some adventures to have still. All right, let's cook some meat. I, I haven't cooked any meat. Well, let's cook some meat. Um, nothing fancy. Just give me some cooked meat. It's been too long since we had some. All right. There. Now yeah, we're nice and full and hydrated. And I was trying to... I was debating which of the books... I think I'm going to go with the 45 minute plus one. I changed my focus again? How the hell did I do that? <laughs> Just cooking the meat got me down to a 66 focus. Damn it, game. Ugh. <laughs> it's so, so annoying. Um, all right, let's, let's do the MP3 thing. De-stressify ourselves. Read another chapter of the samurai novel. Come on. We can go up to 146. I'm going to go with that. All right. Augmentative tech. Maybe I'll do the level of augmentative tech and then we'll do computers. We're missing, uh, we're missing the computer or electronics six to eight book. I need eight electronics in order to make scrambler grenades. So the, the options are either scrambler grenades, eight electronics necessary, or happen across a hack pro and uh, build out the control laptop. Either or. Whoops. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, I, I, I didn't realize. Wait a minute. Oh, that's right. I've got the uh, I've got the headlights turned on. <laughs> um, hey, look at that. We burnt the battery down to 78%. I forgot that uh, I was going to go out at night. Now we're we're stuck. <laughs> we'll have to wait till the next night. Uh, which is not a big deal. Let's do um let's let's, let's cook some more meat. And we'll have some pesto. All right, still normal weight. Tired, but I don't want to sleep quite yet. I want to go a little further, so keep hitting that book. All right, thumbs up. Turn off the headlights. Uh, seven o'clock. Nope, not late enough yet. Well, I had uh, static NPCs turned on, so refugee centers, bandit camps, things like that would have their NPCs. Just the wandering, roaming NPCs wouldn't be available. I'm not likely to ever find any of the static NPCs on a mega map like this, so random NPCs are the only chance I'll have of actually trying to get somebody recruited. And even then, when you're playing a mega city with double zombies, the chances you're actually going to find an NPC and he'll still be alive Basically what has to happen is I have to be holding the quest item in my inventory and immediately hand it to him as soon as I find him to have any chance of keeping an NPC alive. But even then it's going to be stupid hard because <laughs> I'm going to end up meeting them way far away and I'm going to have to leave my vehicle behind because I don't have a spare seat for them to hop into. Well, actually, no, they'll hop into the... I'm pretty sure they'll hop into the cargo space. So I think they would be able to do it. In order to convince them to join you when you have no skills and no social ability and so on, it's almost, I mean, you can, it can happen. But if you hand them the quest item, they'll instantly automatically join you guaranteed. So it's a hell of a lot easier if you just carry around some inhalers and some of the other common quest items and uh, just hand it to them as soon as they show up. I don't particularly care. <laughs> I, like I said, I don't find NPCs all that interesting. So, <laughs> um, all right, let's uh, nine thirty. So we got the electronics done. 
do a little bit of computer skill here. One o'clock. That's probably late enough. All right, leave the books. Keep the gear. Keep that gear. Leave those. Actually, keep that one. Eh, keep both. They don't weigh all that much. All right. Um, let's have some cookies. And some peppermint patties. Oops, I think I need to grab some more bandages. All right, let's uh, slather on. What is this bandage number like 200 that I've, uh, I've put on me so far? <laughs> so many bandages. Yeah, that's good. All right, everything turned off? No, it is not. All right, prepare to be amazed. Watch those hit points bars. They're just gonna just race to the top. Yeah, unfortunately that would require me to actually find, recruit, and deliver NPCs. <laughs> Every time I try to do NPC interactions in my challenges, it all goes horribly wrong, and I just end up smashing my face into my keyboard over and over again. It's not a pretty sight. Grumpy Vorm makes an appearance and says bad words. I actually got a fair amount of healing. I, I still haven't had the chance to... Uh, level or finish... continue leveling up my first aid skill. Yet another thing. The amount of time it's taken this guy to read these books is just driving me berserk. <laughs> it's always terrible, terrible adjustment when I go from a 13 intelligence fast reader to uh, 8 intelligence no reading abilities. The Rude Shock. Alright, plenty of all that. Let's, um, 9 o'clock. Perfect time. So, do I want... Let's see. Not worried about volume or weight all that much. With the exception of... Yeah, sledgehammer and repair kit are pretty damn heavy. Um... Chances I'm going to run across soldiers, which is what I mainly use the sledgehammer on, is fairly small. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, Wes. Uh, we got a herd? Sounds like a herd. It's kind of looking like a herd. Alright, let's uh, back off for a second. Goggles. Ah, damn it. Got the backpack on still. Um, so much leather. <laughs> there it goes again. There it goes again. Like I said, so much leather. Stop it. Got another big ol' herd. Should have backed off and got my stamina back. Alright, headphone users. I'll back off as far as I can here. Jeez. How big is this group? Uh, let's 
start on the music. Let's chop up zombies to some tunes. So I can enjoy my single digit focus. <laughs> uh, kill five zombies, then get no experience for killing the next 500. It's a really bad system. I'm going to keep complaining about it until somebody listens and makes a change. Get me over here, zombies. I want a minimum number of files. More rollerblades. All of a sudden, they're dropping all over the place. I'm a little unhappy I didn't drop the bike backpack earlier. I knew better. I knew better and I, I didn't listen to myself. Kind of surprised they didn't actually come in to my base. I left the door open. I didn't even close the door before I uh, went to sleep. But they could have wandered right in. I think that's all of them. Nope, this one. Right in the middle there. I guess, um... Nothing I care about there. I don't think I'd even pick up another hiking backpack if I found one. It takes like 112 water to clean the damn thing. USP! Uh, more batteries. I can't think of any other standard clothing that I care about. But I'm going to take any time to pick up. Or even look at. Drill, medium battery, I shall have. Ah, that's all I care about. Ah, let's do this right. <laughs> Close the door. <sighs> Picking that on accident. Uh, ah, it's not gonna be enough. Oh, I'm out of I'm completely out of leather again. Dang it! <laughs> I knew that was coming. I still have that backup, right? I do. All right, we'll take the backup. Where? Where, where are you at? Oops. Oh, can't wear more than one hiking backpack. There's now an exception to the rule. Used to be you could wear two of everything. Hmm. Alright. So. Drop that. All right, we're going with the backup. All 
Ah, weapon's still good. I think everything else is fine. Thirty out of two fifty. No problem. I'm not gonna worry about food or water. Plenty of gas. Everything else is good. Yep. All right. Let's go on an adventure. I'd like to be full health, but that's all right. I do need to put the goggles back on. All right. Let's go ahead and go with headlights this time. And uh, what route are we going to take? Two blocks out and then south. I can go south to here and then straight across. We can park kind of in this intersection. And then we've got uh, two, three, four, five. Did I count those earlier? One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe I'll park back here. We'll, we'll see when we get closer. But, yep, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go through the intersection. Whoops. <laughs> I immediately smash into the uh, having the headlights on with the light amp is freaking me out a bit. My, my eyeballs are having a bit of a problem with it. All right, this is our southern. Yes. Hey, Shock Zambi. Um, yeah, this is far enough. I'm gonna pot shot this guy. And we'll even uh, drive over to him. Smush him. We'll go about our business. Uh, yeah, nothing interesting. All right, how far south? We got this intersection and then two more. Oops. Another shock zombie. Where? Saw it on my screen. Where'd you go? Ah, way off there. All right, that's no problem. Next intersection. Hmm. I don't remember. It must have been here. I've checked the construction site, so I'm not worried about whatever that is. There was a spider. Ooh, yowch. There's a spider there for a second. Alright, a couple more blocks. Shock zombie. Shoot him and don't shoot him. Um, I think we shoot shock zombies. Because I really don't like them. <laughs> They're the one. Ah, damn it, another shock zombie coming up. They're the one thing that can give me a bit of a hassle. Might go south to south and then park here. And I've got kind of an equal swath. Let's let's do that. Gun I fired is gonna draw quite a bit of attention. These guys are all kind of going their own way, it looks like. Okay with that. And now we got double shocks out. Hmm. I don't think I want to fire it this close to these guys. I think we're just gonna 
travel. Oh, we got a pool, do we? This looks nice and clear right here. Let's uh, turn off the headlights. And leave the vehicle facing that way. 